Welcome everybody to Banks Race Shop in North Engineering. And today we're talking about our brand new intake for the 2020 plus Ford Super Duty. That's for your Ford F250, F350, F450 and 550 powered by the Power Stroke 6.7 liter diesel. Now this intake is designed for improved throttle response, better engine sound, better engine efficiency. But before we get into our new intake, let's talk about what's going on inside your factory airbox. So here is your factory air box for your 2020 plus Super Duty. Your turbo compressor is on this side. You've got some restrictive factory bellows here to allow for some engine movement. Now air enters from two areas for this air box. We have a front duct here, which runs up towards where your headlight is. And this top duct runs up and over where your front grill and radiator is for a little bit of ram air effect. So let's open up this air box and see what's going on inside. So as air is entering the top scoop, and the bottom duct, you think, wow, we have a lot of flow surface here. A large surface area might be good for flow, but look what's going on on the other side. So here's your factory air filter. Notice all this polyfill right in the front is doing nothing but collecting dust and impeding flow. And the pleats for this air filter are so close together, there's no way air can easily enter and exit this filter, let alone the backside is completely covered with chicken wire. Again, limiting the amount of flow into and out of this filter. Now, let's take a look inside the air box and see how there really is no airflow management. So all that air is trying to enter your top or bottom duct. And like I said, part of your filter is already obstructed. Nothing in here is directing the air through that filter. We have a bunch of strengthening ribs here. These strengthening ribs are because the whole air box is made out of injection molded plastic. And because it's so thin, these extra ribs both on the inside and on the outside are needed for extra strength. Unfortunately, having exterior ribs and interior ribs is actually drawing engine heat from outside into the air box. That's not good. So that's the first half of the factory air box. Let's look at the second half. This part is where your factory intake tube attaches. Goes through on this side where your math sensor is. But again, no real airflow management getting air from that filter down the tube and in fact, this whole back portion, half fits almost wasted. There's no extra airflow coming around the filter. Now let's talk about those factory billows. These are here for a reason because as your engine's running, the engine is vibrating left and right constantly. You need to have some play in your intake system. Unfortunately, as air is traveling through billows, the cross section inside, the diameter of air is actually reduced. There's so much extra drag and resistance running through billows that the diameter effectively narrows as air is running through. The Banks billows are completely different and we'll talk about that later in the video. Now, let's take a look at the Banks Ram Air intake. So this is our Ram Air intake box for our Ford Super Duty. Everything about this is engineered to outperform the factory part. The whole box is made from cross-linked polyethylene, which is denser than the injection molded plastic. We don't need to have any of those strengthening ribs like the factory piece. Everything about this air box is designed for performance, so the inside is completely smoothed out. There's nothing to obstruct airflow and cause resistance or drag. We still utilize the factory intake ducts, including the front one here where the headlight is, but we also open up this lower portion. This lower portion is away from engine heat, so it allows us to have more fresh, cool, dry air entering the air box. We still utilize the front duct, for that ram air effect, but we also have this side air inlet, which is attached to the passenger side, again, away from the elements for cool, dry air, and you can hear your turbo better. Next, let's take a look at our ram air filter. Like all Banks ram air filters, these are custom designed filters. We design how many pleats there are, how deep the pleats are, the material thickness itself, and the actual material construction of the filter. For Banks, it's not just about the largest size, it's all about which flows the best. Compared to stock, this Ram Air filter is half as restrictive. Now our oval outlet has 27 square inches of flow area, which is twice the size of s &B. And when we tested our filters against the others, because we have more filter surface area and fewer pleats, we can collect more dust while also being less restrictive. So now that the intake's fully assembled, Take a good look at this shape. We have this organic, almost teardrop-like shape from the filter going all the way down to the compressor inlet. 
And again, there's a reason behind this. Let me explain. As air is running down a tube, there is a boundary layer of slower moving air on the inside surface of that tube. Now, the smaller that tube becomes, the greater the resistance that boundary layer has. And of course, the longer the tube is, the greater resistance and drag as well. We've designed this intake with an oversized diameter that smoothly tapers down from filter down to the turbo inlet, so there's less of that boundary layer affecting flow. And it's this smooth, organic shape which gives the Banks Ram Air its high performance. Now, let's take a look at that Banks elbow. Now, these exclusive elbows are made from synthetic rubber known as EPDM and not silicone. Main reason for that is EPDM is more rigid than silicone, so it won't collapse under the vacuum of your turbo. Now, unlike the factory billows, which would induce restriction and drag, our Banks billows, they actually slide over our intake tube. Just like that. Which means as air is entering our filter, running down our tube, they have no idea these billows are here and the air can go right through it with no drag. And one thing that the bank system has that the other two don't, we actually include the coolant rest for your factory coolant hoses. Just like factory, but nobody else does it. Speaking of the other guys, let's do a little bit of compare and contrast while we're here. So first off, we have SNB. They went the simple route with a simple straight tube, which we already know is not the best when it comes to airflow. And just look how small their filter outlet is. That outlet is way too small for the power demands of the Ford Power Stroke. You'll also notice you don't get a coolant rest and there's no place to mount your factory filter minder if you have it. That's SNB, check out AFE. So here we have AFE. AFE went an interesting route because at first you think, wow, well, they have a really large opening. They're trying to get a lot of air in there. And at first you might think so. Their filter has a large oval opening as well just like ours, but look what's going on inside their tube. They have a nice flow restrictor right across the center of their entire intake system. And this flow restrictor ends up butting up right against the back side of the filter. Not ideal, you're losing performance here. Now they were nice enough to give you a location for your filter minder, but they skimped out on the location for your coolant rest. Now what's the most interesting thing is out of all three systems we tested, the AFE, the banks and SNB, this tube and filter actually flowed the least. Even though it had a large filter with a large outlet, chances are they overdid the pleat count and there's restrictions in this tube from that cross brace or just the overall shape has not been optimized. So what's all this mean? This is the highest flowing intake with the greatest mass airflow gain at the lowest pressure drop. It flows 35.9% more mass airflow than stock, which is about 10 to 18% more than AFE and SNB. For all those stock vehicles, that means improved throttle response and your engine's gonna run more efficiently since it's getting cooler, denser, dry air. And you can hear your turbo a lot better with these extra inlets, both on the side and from underneath. So with this cool, dense, dry air, it means your turbo can hit the same boost levels with less effort. Which also means you can maintain the same speed on the freeway with less throttle input, which also improves your fuel economy. Now, if you had a tuned truck, the gains are even more substantial. So if you're looking to improve the efficiency of your Ford Power Stroke and hear your turbo at the same time, get your Banks Ram Air today.